What is up, people of YouTube? I'm your host, Vernon. This is Reynolds Ponds. Let's fish that. Alright ladies and gents, made my way out to Reynolds Ponds, it's not actually in Reynolds but it is in the municipality, it is a couple of miles outside of Reynolds and we have a couple of ponds out here that occasionally get some stocked fish and it is quite a rural drive. On my way in I got to see some wild turkeys and a little bear cub. We have a little baby black bear right up there in the trees. Not seeing his mom yet. The little guy sitting up there in the tree hiding. So please be aware that this is a rather rural road. You're going to need some off road capability, whether all wheel drive or just high ground clearance. And even though there are a lot of campsites out here, it's not a lot of amenities, so keep that in mind. But my goal for today is to get out there and see what these ponds have to offer. All right, so when exploring this little spot online, uh, researching it a bit, I saw that people have caught bass as well as trout from this area. Now, whether that's in this particular pond, the ponds behind me, or the large pond, that I don't know. But I do know that they have both trout and bass in this area. But after seeing this pond and looking at the activity, I think this looks a bit more like a trout lake. So for that reason, rather than throwing bass lures, I'm going to start off with some inline spinners, try for some trout, see if we get any action out there. There we go. Have a little trout on. I think I was reeling in too quickly. I want a slow retrieve. And he popped off. That looked like a brown trout. Never caught brown trout before. But sadly we lost that one. But now we know something's working. Right, I've now hooked and lost three different trout out there. First time fishing with barbless hooks on my little inline spinners. I think just the general jitters means that I'm losing these fish but what's interesting is they're not heading this little lure as much as I think they would and I think maybe it's a color problem so I'm thinking maybe swapping out to some different colors testing a few different styles and colors see if we get something that they want to hit one hour later all right it's now been an hour and a half of throwing inline spinners not getting any fish to commit I think the few ones that were willing to hit a moving bait, I messed that up and so far not getting any more hits. I think we need to slow down our presentation. For that reason, I'm going to put on a little drop shot rig. That's just a little hook suspended above a tiny little weight. And on that hook, I'm just going to put some power worms, throw that out there, see if we can get any of them to go for the power worms. There we go. There we go. We got a little trout on the power worm. Just want to wet my hands. Make sure I get all the oil off my hands before touching the fish.
there we are my first brown trout it's the first time catching a little brown trout not going to keep him don't want to keep him out of the water too long lovely little catch let's get him back and off he goes my first little brown trout hooked a few out there today couldn't land them finally got on one all right ladies and gents after finally landing that little fish i can tell you that i'm on cloud nine i get to fish a lovely little spot like this throwing around a bunch of lures testing out a few different things it's all fun but that does not always translate very well in these videos if there's not constant action. So for that reason, I'm going to use the same drop shot rig that I've been using. But I'm going to put on some night crawlers, see if maybe some live bait out there we can get some more action. All right, so far the little night crawlers hasn't worked at all. I've gotten one single bite on a night crawler, but there is still one last thing I can try before we call it, and that is using a little bobber. Below that, I have a tiny little ice jig, a little worm on there. These are just some mealworms, and they're not fresh or anything. These are pickled mealworms. But I'm gonna get that out there see maybe some of these fish will be willing to go for a little easy dangling worm in the water rather than having it down on the bottom raising it up in the water column that might be the trick of this I can always lower and raise our little worm depending on how deep I think it is but it's very important to watch our little bobber if that bobber goes down we need to set the hook We actually just had one, bobber went down, but took me too long, and we lost him. All right, ladies and gents, not too shabby for my first time here at Reynolds Pond. Now, it did take me quite a while and different techniques to finally get on some fish, but we lost some fish, we got some fish. All in all, pretty good day out there, especially getting on a new species for my life list. And even though these weren't the biggest fish out there, I'm pretty sure there are a lot bigger fish out there, but for the first time around, not too bad. And on that note, please do give me a little thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Feel free to ask any questions down below in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, consider hitting the subscribe button, joining my community. 
All right, but I had fun out there, and I hope you enjoyed it. I think it should be illegal for somewhere to be this pretty. But nevertheless, thank you for following, and like always, we'll see you next time.